when we found out we both responded very differently. I think because I had this sort of niggly feeling in the pit of my stomach that there was something that was wrong. So for me, there was almost like an element of relief because I'm quite a practical person. So I liked having a reason. And I also liked the idea of being able to start taking proactive steps to help Arlo. That was just my kind of coping mechanism was the more information I could get about the condition, the more empowered I felt. I was polar opposite really. I was I was very angry towards, you know, the universe and just thought, you know, why my boy? That moment passed. But also, you know, you, you do get thrust into the world of uh, and the life of having a child with CF and you need to be, you know, on it in terms of understanding what you need to understand to keep your child healthy. Becoming a medical parent is being thrust into a lot of things that you just didn't imagine having to do. I think you just have to allow yourself to feel your feelings. Some of your feelings you might not be proud of. You can be a little bit like frustrated with the deal that you've been dealt at times. We sort of made a promise to each other when Arlo was diagnosed that if one of us was struggling, we'd come and find the other one. Actually, that was probably like the best advice we could have given each other. Yeah. When one of you is feeling maybe in a good headspace about cystic fibrosis and really coping well with everything that's on your plate as a new parent with a baby with CF. The other one might not be and actually coming to each other meant that we could kind of cheerlead each other through those ups and downs which for us worked really well. We're a partnership and we'll be a partnership in, you know, for Arlo. Um, so who better to, you know, share that with?